There's some new sandwich recipes that have come out. They're going to increase your odds to get a shiny and decrease the amount of Herba Mystica that you have to use to make them. Shiny sandwiches have completely changed the game for shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but the biggest pain is harvesting all the Herba Mystica that you need to use to make these sandwiches. And you're only able to obtain Herba Mystica once you've unlocked five and six star raids. These new recipes are going to allow you to mix and match Herba Mystica instead of having to use the two same Herba Mystica so that you can make your shiny sandwiches faster and be more proficient with the items that you do have because you're probably like me and are overbearing in one area like spicy Herba Mystica and really short in another like salty Herba Mystica which really for me is kind of where I'm at. So for these new recipes I've actually put together a spreadsheet that I'm gonna put down in the comments below so that you can access this you'll be able to view it and look at all the different sandwich recipes that are out now because as you can see there's two separate sandwiches recipes for each one that we can make but let's go ahead and jump back into the game here i just want to show you that this does give you the effect that these do have the same effect on your character so previously if you wanted to say make a normal shiny hunting sandwich you would need to use a chorizo and then you would need to use two salty herba mystica so then you would go to the next and then you would go to your salty herba mystica and as you can see like here I've used a bunch of these salty Herba Mystica because I've been shiny hunting in this game and now I'm down to one and farming these items is extremely difficult because you're not guaranteed to get one even in a six star raid. They're about a 3% drop in a six star raid and a less than 1% drop in a five star raid. So getting these items is very, very difficult. So with these new recipes that we've uncovered, we've been actually able to make a shiny sandwich using any Herba Mystica. You just have to use more ingredients so i'm just gonna make a fire sandwich here really fast you need to use two of the red bell pepper one onion prosciutto and i will put the recipes up on the uh up on the screen for you here shortly we're gonna run through all of them but now that we have those items now you just go ahead and use any herba mystico so, so since i have two spicy i'm gonna go ahead and use two spicy and we're gonna go ahead and make our sandwich here really quick and I'm just going to show you that it still gives you a fire encounter level three, as well as the shiny encounter level three, which is super cool because I tend to get these spicy Herba Mystica way more than I do others. Uh, let me know in the comments below which ones that you guys get more, but these ones are definitely the ones that I get the most. Uh, so we're just going to bust out this sandwich really quick, and then we're going to jump in and show you that these give you the same effects all right there it is encounter power fire level three sparkling power fire level three and tidal power fire level three as you can see we had to use many more ingredients to do this sandwich however with the hardest ingredient to get in this sandwich we're able to use anything that we have in our inventory which is going to help save you a lot of farming for Herba Mystica because like I said earlier spicy seems to drop way easier than salty and grinding out salty Herba Mystica is <laughs> is a bummer it's really tough all right so i'm gonna run through the recipes here really quickly if you are making a normal encounter sandwich the new recipe is going to be a fried filet salty herba mystica and any herba mystica after that so you do still need to use a salty herba mystica in this one for the normal encounter and again this will be available down in the comments below so that you can access this and take a look at it but that is going to be the new sandwich there that's going to allow you to get shiny and encounter level three for hunting pokemon and here we got fire sandwiches here so this is going to be red pepper times two we need an onion prosciutto green pepper yellow pepper and then any herba mystica so once you go through and make this sandwich like we just did in the video uh you'll have fire and uh a fire encounter and shiny encounter level three the new water sandwich is going to be cucumber times two prosciutto red pepper green pepper yellow pepper and any herba mystica times two so you'll notice that a lot of these have a meat and a lot more vegetables as we're going through them for the grass in one it's lettuce times two prosciutto red pepper green pepper yellow pepper and then again any herba mystica times two for flying you're going to use prosciutto red pepper green pepper yellow pepper onion and then any herba mystica times 
to. For fighting, you're going to use prosciutto, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, herb sausage, and then any herba mystica times two. I feel like I'm repeating myself like crazy there at the end, but I guess that's really cool that we have that option to have any herba mystica times two. For poison, it's going to be green pepper, onion, prosciutto, green pepper again, red pepper, and then any herba mystica times two. For electric, yellow pepper times two, onion, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, and then any herba mystica times two. For ground, it's gonna be ham times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, and then any herba mystica times two to get that shiny and encounter effect. For rock, it's bacon, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then any herba mystica times two. For psychic, we're looking at onion times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then again, of course, any herba mystica times two. For ice, cloth stick times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then any herba mystica times two. For bug, we're looking at potato salad times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then any herba mystica times two. Too. So this is one that a drive is probably going to be using a lot on that one for shiny hunting bug Pokemon uh, For ghost we're going to use red onion times two prosciutto green pepper red pepper yellow pepper and then any herba mystica times two for the steel sandwiches Hamburger times two prosciutto green pepper red pepper yellow pepper any herba mystica times two for dragon avocado times two prosciutto green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then any Herba Mystica times two. For dark, we're looking at smoked filet times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, any Herba Mystica times two. And then for the last one, we have fairy, tomato times two, prosciutto, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and then any Herba Mystica times two. Again, this is a spreadsheet that I've put together that has these recipes on it. This will be accessible to you down below in the comments. The only ask that I have is that if you use this sheet, you download this sheet, you take a look at this sheet, please drop a like. And also if you're not, please subscribe because this did take some work to, and time to put together. And uh, I'm just gonna show you the power really quickly of these shiny encounters and these everything that goes on with these. So uh, let's go ahead and find a really cool shiny Pokemon. I would love to catch a Satoddle or Satitan actually, because it's one of my favorite shinies that have been introduced in this generation. So let's go ahead and head up. And we're gonna go here to Monteverna, Monte, Montenevra city, and we're gonna shiny hunt for a Satoddle really quickly using the ice encounter and shiny encounter sandwiches. So we got our absolutely loaded sandwich here. We're gonna eat this and it should give us ice encounter and shiny hunting power level two or three, sorry, not level three, not level two. We are past level two. All right, let's see, let's see if it does. I'll go ahead and turn my camera off so you can see here really quickly the effect that it gives me. We got that tasty Fipsimon original. All right, Sparking Power Ice, Tidal Power Ice, and Encounter Power Ice, level three. There you go, you see it, it is in effect. And now we are going to see what shinies that we can get up here on the mountain with uh, with this shiny and ice encounter power level three. So we are looking for the Toddle, the Titan. Uh, there we go, there is bunch of Satoddles. Those are kind of the ones that we're looking for, but we could run into a Bergmite, a Sneasel, a Bomb of Snow. There's a whole bunch of Pokemon that we obviously could run into here that could be shiny, which is kind of crazy to think about. We're, we're just kind of keeping our eyes open for any shiny Pokemon that we can get. The one that we are searching for though is definitely Satoddle. So let's just get to it and see what we can find. I'm just kind of going back and forth here, respawning and despawning these Pokemon and uh, hoping to see if we can't get something as we're doing that. And uh, so far it's been, how, how long we've we been doing? Four minutes and we haven't run into any shinies, but uh, I, I don't think that uh, that's a bad sign by any means. We should hopefully run into one before the end of this sandwich. 
All right, we're about five minutes in and we just found our first shiny, a shiny cub chew. So we're gonna go ahead and snag this Pokemon and uh, move on and hopefully get another one. All right, we got a critical catch on our first shiny using the sandwich and uh, we're gonna see what else we can catch. Right now I'm kind of using Austin John's isolation method to see if we can't isolate something. So there is the Titans that pop here or the toddles, I guess. And I'm just trying to force a shiny to spawn. But the only issue is that obviously there are other ice Pokemon that spawn on this map. So I'm hoping that with what we're doing here, we're still able to pull one up, but we'll see what we can do by the end of the video. Oh, and here we go. We just found our second shiny on this one sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and catch this one here as well. Shiny Sneasler, Sneasel in the house, not Sneasler. Sneasel, let's go ahead and just use a Premier Ball here and let's go ahead and catch this Shiny. The Shiny Sneasel looks really cool, actually. I like this Shiny. Sweet, and we got our critical catch on our second Shiny on this sandwich. So as you can see, we have two Shinies in less than 20 minutes, actually, which is really cool. And I'm just gonna name this one Cleopatra really fast. And then we will move on to the next one. So we didn't get the shinies to Tuttle, but we were able to get two shinies on this run, which just shows you the power of the shiny sandwich. In 30 minutes, we got two Pokemon, which is really cool. And I'm really excited for that. So hopefully this helps you out in determining what to use as you're making your sandwiches to shiny hunt for Pokemon. I know that this is gonna benefit me in the future because I don't have a lot of the salty Herba Mystica, which is the ingredient that was mostly used in a lot of the recipes that were initially released out on the internet for people to, to follow. This does not necessarily need salty Herba Mystica, which I think is a huge benefit and super helpful as you're starting to shiny hunt in this game. If this helped you out at all, leave a like. And if this is the second or third time that you've seen one of my videos that you've enjoyed, please consider subscribing. It does help out the channel more than you know, and I'm really trying to grow my channel here as we continue to get further into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and uh, you will see a bunch of Pokemon content coming out soon. So hopefully enjoy it and would love to have you here as part of the community. Make sure that you check the comments below because I will have the guide for every single specific sandwich and what they do and what items you will need to make them. So don't forget to do that and save it. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next video.